Here's my version of Cripple Creek that's not quite so easy. A few more notes. Uh, there are opportunities for double stops in this too. Uh, usually if you're in the key of A, you'll have a, an open A string if you're on the third string. If you're on the second string, you'll have an open E string. That kind of thing. So the real easy double stops that you can use just the open A and the open E string until you get better uh, working your double stops around the neck. Okay, so this one is mostly eighth notes, as the other one was about split evenly between eighth and quarter notes. This one uh, picks up into the high A, but it doesn't stay on the high A. It just it goes take gets right back off of it. O two five O two five O four O four, and again work through it phrase by phrase at first. This first phrase five O two five all on the same string. This one is uh, moves over to the second string. And again, it has one of those places where you pick a downstroke on the first string and upstroke on the second string. So that may take a little bit of practice to get good at that. Okay, that's the second phrase. Third phrase does this thing where you hit a downstroke on the second string and an upstroke on the first string. And there's a quarter note. So, so far we've got O oh, two five O oh, two five. Here comes the second line. O oh, two O oh, four. Stretch out there for that G sharp, the sixth fret, and then go straight across to the. That's a B there. Second fret on the on the second string and then open second string open a string then we pick back up we're on ending number one of the a part o2 on the e string and then we repeat the first part Then we're going to do um, an A and a B on the second string. Open A and a second fret, and that'll bring us into the uh, second part. Notice both parts have the same ending. Two, four, six, two, O. Oh. And then we repeat back to the um, to the B part. O oh, two two O oh, four O. Oh. Two four six two O oh, O oh, two. Then we're back up to the top again. So second time, let's look at the B part again, uh, phrase by phrase. This is all on the second string, 4024. The next phrase goes over to the third string, starts on the second string, third string, and then uh, the third phrase changes strings to 4204 on the third string, lands on the two down the third string. That's an E on the quarter note. And then this whole third line. And then two, four, six, two, O. Oh. Now notice the um, O oh, two, four, O oh, four, two, O oh, two, O oh, four is the same as the first part. The same as the I guess you, that would be the third measure of the first part. So both parts, the second half of both parts goes. First, first half, the, the A part, then you got your second half. And your B part, and 
it's the same here as the first part. It makes it a little easier to remember because once you get this second half learned, O oh, two four O oh, four two oh, oh, four two. Then you got learned for both the A part and the B part. And again, you have opportunities for double stops. second half something like that and in the um, second part the B part along here you can use the E string as a harmony So you can just do you can do just about the whole B part in double stops. Okay, just give yourself the freedom to pick more than one string at a time when you hear it working. And that actually takes a little bit of practice if you're used to just playing one string, especially if you got a tiny little stroke like this. You know, you're going to have to widen that stroke out to get both strings both ways. And don't, don't worry about hitting a stray string now and then. That's okay. Okay. So let's take this from the top. About a one, two, one, two, three. Let's do about jam session speed now. About one, two, one, two, three. 